Bruchim Habaim B'Shem Adonai. Blessed are those who come here in the name of God. We welcome Jamie and Ross to this sacred moment. Ross and Jamie have brought us all here as witnesses to this transformative moment in our lives. In our presence here as a community, we give them the gift of recognition, recognition of their love, the obligations they've made to each other, and their commitment as a couple. And we celebrate Ross and Jamie, their love, their lives, their future with every fiber of our being. For those who may not know, Ross and I share a love story that spans decades. We met at Livingston High School, and I would say we've had feelings for each other ever since. Over the years, we remained friends, occasionally going on dates, and crossing paths in New York City. If you knew me then, you knew the name Ross Wiener. During my single years, my family and friends, including Ross's little sister, Lindsay, would often ask, why don't you just date Ross Wiener? And I would explain to them, it's not that easy. I admit, I was half the problem. Fast forward a few years, after a long winter break down in Boca, my dad dropped, dropped me off at West Palm Beach Airport at 5 a.m. for the 6 a.m. flight back to Newark. For some reason, I decided to put on mascara that morning at 4 a.m. As I approached the gate, the first person I saw was Ross Wiener, and I, and I sat down next to him. Thank God for that mascara. Of course, I immediately mass texted my friends and family about this typical run-in with Ross Wiener. It was beshert. Is this what you imagine? No. Wow. <laughs> so nice. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting married. Oh my god, crazy. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been ready my whole life. Let's do it. <sighs> I began writing my vows, it had me thinking back to when we first met and the journey of how we got here today. And it's incredible to realize you've always been there as a constant presence in my life. Our paths have always crossed from kind of dating in high school to our coincidental college meetups to living on the same block in the city and spending time in Florida visiting our parents. Yet for some reason, you still seem to tell people that we met at West Palm Beach Airport at gate C10 only a couple years ago. We did not meet there, but it was the most recent encounter that brought us together for good. I've always believed in the power of timing, and I'm so grateful that it led us to where we are now.
boss, you are truly the most supportive, loyal, and caring person I have ever met. You are driven, handsome, smart, and funny. And from the moment our paths cross, I knew this was something special. I would be lying if I said that I don't constantly think how lucky I am to have you in my life. And writing my vows reminded me that I don't express that to you nearly enough. I will love you unconditionally and make sure you feel it every day. People often say love is hard. I guess what my friends call wiener luck strikes again because my relationship with you is one of the easiest things I've ever experienced. I love you and can't wait to call you my wife. I am the luckiest person alive to be standing next to you today and every day. I vow to love you for the rest of my life. I can't believe I can finally say I married Ross Wiener. <laughs> May you be best friends, better together than ever apart. Baruch HaTadonai, Mesameach HaTan, Im HaKala. celebrate tonight, let's raise our glasses to Ross and Jamie. May your love continue to flourish and your journey together be filled with laughter, joy, and countless memories. Here's to a lifetime of happiness and love. Mazel tov. Today's the day we welcome Jamie into our family. We wish you both a lot of luck and many babies. Hey, Ross, my little daddy, really love you. Come out and play. for coming. I, I know you came from near and far. We appreciate it very much. Have a great time and we're, we're pleased you're here. And th thank you. God bless you both. <laughs>